Hey guys, it's your host I2I35, aka Josiah David, and in this video, I'm going to be putting forth the question, what does it mean to accept Jesus as your personal savior? Well, to properly understand this question, we must first understand the terms Jesus Christ, personal, and savior. Who is Jesus Christ? Many people will say Jesus was a good man, or a great teacher, or even a great prophet of God. These things are definitely true of Jesus, but they do not fully define who he truly is. And some people will even say, oh, he never existed. Well, that is really an, uh, an attitude of epic denialism, and just basically wanting to avoid the subject. But the Bible tells us that Jesus is God in the flesh, God in human form. God came to earth to teach us, heal us, correct us, forgive us, and die for us. Jesus Christ is God, the Creator, the Sovereign Lord. Have you accepted this Jesus? What is a Savior, and why do we need a Savior? God's Word has clearly informed us that we have all sinned. We have all committed evil acts. Some are worse than others in man's eyes, but in God's eyes, we've all done wrong. The curse of sin has passed on from person to person like a virus. As a result of our sin, we deserve God's judgment. The only just punishment for sins committed against an infinite and eternal God is an infinite punishment. God hates sin and will not allow it in his presence. That is why we need a savior. Jesus Christ came to earth and died in our place. Jesus' death was an infinite payment for our sins. Jesus died to pay the penalty for our sins. Jesus paid the price so that we would not have to. And since God could not look upon sin, that's why the clouds darkened over when Jesus was crucified. Jesus' victorious resurrection from the dead proved that his death was sufficient to pay the penalty for our sins. That is why Jesus is the one and only Savior. Are you trusting in Jesus as your Savior? But is Jesus your personal Savior? Many people view Christianity as attending church, performing rituals, and or not committing certain sins. That's not what it is. True Christianity, according to the Gospel of Christ, is a personal relationship with Christ. Accepting Jesus as your personal Savior means placing your own personal faith and trust in Him. No one is saved by faith of others. No one is forgiven by doing certain deeds. The only way to be saved is to personally accept Jesus as your Savior, trusting in His death as the payment for your sins and His resurrection as your guarantee of eternal life. Is Jesus personally your Savior? If you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, any viewer watching this video, just say this prayer with me. There are no magic words. God is looking at your heart. And by heart, I mean another figure for your soul. It is not the literal organ that pumps blood around your body. But if you could just say this and mean it, God will forgive you. Just say, Lord, I realize that I am a sinner and need forgiveness. I believe Christ died for me and rose from the dead. Jesus... I now repent. I am willing to turn from sin. Please, come into my heart. I trust you alone for my salvation. Thank you for letting me hear and receive the words of eternal life. In Jesus' name, amen. The word of God says, if you call upon the Lord, you shall be saved. God promised he would save you, and he would. I bet he has. The next step you can, the next step you can do is to grow, pray, read your Bible, maybe get involved in a great Bible-believing church and begin to grow to be a good, a good Christian. I'm glad I've been able to share this important message with you. Well, thank you for watching, and God bless.